Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anjika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medically. Is longer duration of exclusive breastfeeding associated with decreased risk of childhood cancers? According to a study published in the journal JAMA Network Open, exclusive breastfeeding for at least three months has been associated with decreased risk of childhood hematologic cancers, particularly B cell precursor acute lymphoblastic leukemia, but not with the risk of central nervous system or solid tumors. Despite its rarity compared to adult cancers, Childhood cancer remains a significant concern, with various types affecting young individuals. Leukemia, brain tumors, lymphomas and neuroblastomas are among the most prevalent forms. According to global statistics, approximately 300,000 children below the age of 15 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Previous research has suggested that breastfeeding is associated with a reduced risk of childhood cancer, such as acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the most common cancer in childhood. Meta-analysis and pool studies have shown that child children breastfed for at least six months had an approximately 20% lower risk of developing all or leukemia in general compared with those breastfeed for shorter duration or not at all. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. In the study, researchers used administrative data on exclusive breastfeeding duration for the Danish National Child Health Register. All children born in Denmark between January 2005 and December 2018 with available information on duration of exclusive breastfeeding were included. Children were followed up from age 1 year until childhood cancer diagnosis, loss to follow up or emigration death age 15 years or December 31, 2020. Data were analyzed from March to October 2023. The results reveal that among the 3,9473 children included in the study, 332 children were diagnosed with cancer at age 1 to 14 years. Of these, 124 were diagnosed with hematological cancer. Of these, 124 were diagnosed with hematological cancers were acute lymphoblastic leukemia, of which were B-cell precursor. Compared with the exclusive breastfeeding duration of less than 3 months, exclusive breastfeeding for 3 months or longer was associated with a decreased risk of hematological cancer, which was largely attributable to decreased risk of BCP all, but not with the risk of central nervous system tumor or solid tumors. The findings suggested that the association between breastfeeding and childhood BCP all risk, if determined to be casual, could be mediated by preventing this immunologic dysregulation. Specifically, breastfeeding provides passive protection against infection and inflammation through antibody transmission and anti-inflammatory properties and also directly influences the shaping of infant's gut microbiome important for immune system maturation. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.